Yeah. Uh. I lay on the scale, you gotta glow, gotta glow. I'd like to welcome everyone to another episode of Let's Get Podcast. I'm your host Zeke, and in this episode, I have my friend Isaac to discuss the creative process of making film and writing poetry. You can follow his Instagram at Instead of Isaac, where you can see some of his poetry and some of his life. So, the first question I'd like to ask is what would your origin story be? Um, my origin story. <laughs> They asked a tough first question. Right? <laughs> All right, origin story. So, you can choose any medium you want to. Yeah, um, I think I would have to go with a film mm-hmm. straight up. Uh, I don't like to read personally. I don't really read that much. Uh, it takes me a long time to read, um, and I wouldn't go with like. Um, that's why I wouldn't go with a book. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't go with like a show because my daily life really isn't that interesting. <laughs> uh, the, the producer would probably be stretching out some content. So, you like, make something happen. Right? Like, yo, this dude takes the same route to school every day. Same thing happening every day. So, the show is out the picture. And I like films. So, films are always just like a, something I've always been interested in. So, I'll go with a film. And the kind, you want to know, like, what would be in there? Yeah, in the you can go with people in there if you want to. Uh, to be real, I feel like I'm still in my origin story. Mm-hmm. So, I think, like, I'm not I'm not at the point where like it's finished or whatever. I feel like I'm sort of just in my opinion, I'm sort of just getting into the groove. I'm getting into that like it's like the ten minute part of the mid movie when you first get the action, like this is what we this is what we're talking about. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. We're getting yeah. into that exactly. The 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 strong punch yeah. at the beginning of the movie to get your attention. That's where I feel like I'm at right now. Um but to go backwards, I guess, you know, movies like start with that and then they go back into the past a lot. Um I would say my origin story would be, we'll start with like um, a lot of like family, family oriented stuff. Uh, I grew up in a good family. Um, basically, everything was smooth going through school, going through elementary, high school. Um, but I was just sort of like reflecting and I realized that, you know, hindsight is like 2020. So yeah. looking back, I'm like, you know, there was some things you, you kind of like, you kind of had to go through. Um, so I was looking at, I was thinking about high school and I went to high school that was kind of like a little bit racist. Um, I was like the only black kid in all my classes um, and the, the school was mostly white. And there's a lot of like subtle, subtle jabs that I kind of look back and I think like, wait, that wasn't really, I wasn't really all that good. Um, so I think going through that, um, going through basketball, mm-hmm. playing ball competitively, uh, basically all through high school, um, you know, the program. Um, and I think coming into college is where I start to like sort of become more me, yeah. um, like trying different things, engaging with different people. Uh, so that's where I picked up like ph- sort of photography. <laughs> I dropped that real quick. But, <laughs> so I picked up photography, uh, started writing poetry little by little. Um, and then also uh, taking sort of a next step with like film and videos. So. Mm-hmm. Um, origin story sound kind of boring right now, but I think it, it'll pick up. I think I'm still, you know, in that in that stage, you know. Uh, you I just think getting probably, the movie together, setting up, exactly. setting the characters are, seeing yeah, who they yeah, are, get exactly. their, um, their personalities, and characters. All these can all connect with them. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Still introducing characters to me and new people and stuff. Yeah, so, yeah for sure. Yeah. So uh, with that, you always say you talk about a lot about your family mm-hmm. and film. So what kind of film? What when did you know did you like film? Um, the first time I made a video was in elementary school. Um, and really what happened was my brother wanted a highlight tape for basketball. He was in college. He was playing uh, Division two basketball, and he was looking to transfer. Uh, so he wanted a highlight tape. That, that was before, like, Otis Baller's life and, like, yeah. mixtape and before cameras were just, like, everywhere. Uh, so he had some tape on, on, um, on, like, some files somewhere, and he was like, yo... I need you to figure this out. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, how old am I? Like 11 <laughs> or 12? Um, but he kind of knew like my personality and I like to, I like to solve puzzles and yeah. stuff. So I looked at that and I'm like, all right, this is time. It's time now. <laughs> I right, bet. Let's go. Yeah, I'll just get it. I'm going to figure this out. Because, you know, around that time, Wait, like... Older brother or younger brother? My older brother. My older, older brother. brother. Yeah, yeah. My older brother, he's five years older than me. Um, so, uh, and I, I had seen like a lot of YouTube videos, like... Mm-hmm. 
you know, mixtapes were popping then, but like for like NBA players and stuff. So like watching like Allen Iverson tapes and and Stephon Marbury and all them Jason Kidd watching them tapes a lot. Yeah. So I had seen like I, I watched those those videos and I'm thinking like, yo, I feel like I could do that. Yeah. So that was kind of like the prelude to him asking me. Um, and then basically I had to. I started working on it. I was working on it for a long time on this beat down laptop that like if you <laughs> unplugged it, it would turn off. So I was using his laptop. Um so I was just learning though. I just basically taught myself um just playing with things and I figured out how to make a highlight tape, put it together for him. Um he liked it. He was he was we were working together, collaborating, like, oh cut this this clip a little short, uh make sure you show this part. Uh, I like this highlight, put that in there. <laughs> Uh, put this song on there and it just came together um that video is on youtube still to this day um so yeah that was that was where i got into like i guess video editing yeah and then from there um it wasn't really actually i did two more highlight tapes mm-hmm. uh, i did a highlight tape anonymously i got paid for it all right let me make money like 12 uh, yeah yeah actually my fault I, let me slow down <laughs> that was in high school that was in high, high school, school. Right. so four years passed i went through high school and i was like uh, end of my senior year right and then i had a, a friend who had like a connect to somebody he's playing with in aau uh and i happened to be playing against this dude during the season <laughs> so i already knew who he was and homie was like he played middleman he's like yo you know, I got a friend who makes tapes, and then he did that, whatever. So I did a, a highlight tape for a competitor of mine <laughs> in basketball anonymously, and I made a hundred dollars. I probably should have made more, but you know that's okay. It's a good, good start. Good, good start, start. Good start. And then I made um also that senior year in high school, I made one for my friend, mm-hmm. um, and then I think I made another one. So I made three highlight tapes um, my senior year. So I think that was also like. Uh, like the ball rolling, you know, going to college. So when I got to college, um, I started to look at it more of like, like, yo, filmmakers, the films that we're all watching, everybody's watching films, everybody loves them, I like them. The filmmakers are using the same techniques to edit films that I'm using on these, like, basically, you know, little kid making uh, highlight tapes. So I'm like, these same editing techniques, they could just be taken and applied to a different genre of video. So I was looking at that and I'm like, this this is kind of interesting because I was sort of transitioning out of basketball. I stopped playing. I didn't really want to be around it as much. So I'm like, what am I doing highlight tapes for? This is just bringing back. <laughs> it's like me staying in the past. Yeah. So so um, getting that interest in like film, I just started watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos on like filmmakers, how they think, the, the mindset behind it, uh, the mindset behind editing. Um, and then I, I just started started working from there. Like, I think really what what was sort of like a turning point was I made a video with my brother. We collaborated um, and it was short two minute video, but it was like um, it was like a, a love letter to basketball. Um, so we worked on that. And that was really the that turning point from like highlight tapes to like film related content. Um, and I think that's how I started. That's how I got interested. It just sort of just happened. Started teaching myself stuff and it just happened. So you can film before, so do make movies all that before like a book became bigger and everything, but everything was still like choppy. Yeah, I, I used Windows Movie Maker. So nobody was, <laughs> I don't think anybody was using Final Cut or like Adobe yet. And I'm just this little boy <laughs> in, in, in a hot room with a broken laptop making video, making a video. So yeah, I guess I did kind of learn before it got like really popping before everybody is on YouTube and yeah. every, everything like that. So yeah. Yeah. So with that, what would you say your favorite film is? Wait, what's the difference between a film and a movie? Oh, same thing. Same thing? Same thing. Okay, yeah, cool. Because people yeah. say film, sounds like more educated, sounds yeah, like... Yeah. It sounds better. Where? It, sounds, it better. sounds better. Yeah. I, the, well, the term film comes from, like, the, 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 the actual tape. film. Yeah, yeah. The tape. The tape. Um, but basically, like, um, film is a movie. So yeah. what would you say your favorite movie is? Oof, good question. I... I... <laughs> I had I actually made a list on my phone because when people ask me about favorites, I always forget. Um, so let me think. I'm gonna just start rattling off movies. I like Creed. Creed yeah. one. Yeah. I love that movie. Um, little known movie that I love is Hardball. Uh, I'm not sure if you heard of that. It's like no. He's a. It's a. I think it's based off a true story, and it's like these kids in Chicago, in the south side of Chicago, playing baseball, um, and their coach who's a, a white guy that, that just came in and. He was initially like not really interested in coaching, 
but he, now he's working like with these kids and he started to, to really like them and um, get involved with, with their, their lives. So uh, interesting story. I like that film. Um, Fruitvale Station. Uh, I like that movie. Um, what else? Coach Carter. I like that movie. <laughs> I was thinking about that too. Yeah, you was thinking about that? Yeah. yeah. I like I like real stuff. Like, sort of like, it, it could be fictional, but like something that's sort of like imitating real life. Yeah, um, like it's possible. Like, oh, similar like feel good movies. Yeah, yeah. Well, not always feel good. <laughs> it could be sad. Fruitvale is sad. Yeah, Fruitvale is, is sad. That's really yeah. sad. Um, but I guess like something that's like portraying like the realness of life. I kind of like that. Like a reflection of your life or things that you see around you? Um, more of things I see around me. Um, yeah, more of things I've noticed and seen around me. Uh, and something I sort of I could relate to. Yeah. Um, maybe it might not have happened to me. But the fact that I've seen it or I've like thought about it, um, yeah, I think those kind of like hit home for me. Yeah, um, I could keep naming stuff, man. <laughs> I, I like The Incredibles too, though. You know, <laughs> I, I like, like, was there. I like yeah, I like The Incredibles. Yeah. I like you know those type of movies too. Uh, I think like I think what really captures me is um, I guess good storytelling, mm-hmm. good storytelling. Yeah, it really captures me. And the Incredibles is like a great great storytelling like they like weave it all together like it's i like that every every decision had a um reaction yeah yeah yeah. um it affected what happened in the present and yeah, yeah. in the future yeah there's no there's no wasted there's no wasted scenes no wasted seconds no uh, and i like that yeah but i'm gonna stop there you know <laughs> talk about more films yeah like, like dark knight uh-huh. um, that's a good one what you call it Winter soldier uh okay uh, have i seen that I don't think I've seen that. The first Iron Man. Okay. I like things more action oriented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like similar to like, how like, anime is more it's just some slow anime, like Death Note, but like it's more action like Shonen. Right. Dragon Ball Z all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Got you. Superhero films too. Yeah. Same, like, yeah. Those are popping too. <laughs> or yeah. Disney got everything. Yeah, man. They, <laughs> they own everything. <laughs> taking over the world. <laughs> On the podcast, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a plug. You trying to get bought out? <laughs> Zeke's trying to get bought out. <laughs> like, show me the cash. <laughs> I got you, man. <laughs> yeah. Man. <laughs> so let's continue with film. Um, mm-hmm. So you also study like accounting and stuff like that. So do you have more of, like an analytical mind when it comes to things, or do you? Um, I'm still figuring it out. I think I think I'm a a weird mix of like analytical and creative yeah i had the same mix yeah you have that too yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm really good at math like you mm-hmm. give me like numbers i got mm-hmm. you but if you give me like something to create uh-huh. i also got you yeah yeah I'm, I'm the same way i'm the same way uh i think what i've noticed is what i'm not i'm doing a master's in information systems yeah so just to get that right um but accounting was something i was sort of like just good at in terms of classes yeah so i wouldn't say i like it um i don't like it that much um and like based off like the experience I had working as well, I'm like, this isn't this isn't enough creativity for me. Even though I'm doing, even though I'm good at analytical stuff, it's not enough yeah. creativity for me. Um, and in terms of like creativity and, and business, I like to think of like high level. I like to think of like what's the big picture? What are we trying to do? What's our mission? Uh, like how can we craft this business model in a creative way to make money? How can we also serve people? I like to think like high level. I'm not more of a, a person that's like into details as much. Like, uh, so I think that's where like the, the creativity. Yes, and yes. then somebody else could just like figure out. It's like we're here right now. Uh huh. This is the angle. Somebody else can figure out how we get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm more of that type of guy. Um, so that's the cross between the two in yeah. a way. Uh, I think I might end up using like accounting to sort of like, like spring into another career, just spring like into other options. Yeah. Um, to like a. It gives you the money that you need to feed your passion. Right. True. True as well. Um, definitely. So I don't think it was, I don't think I'm necessarily like one or the other mm-hmm. creative or like analytical. I think I could find the cross between the two um, that can kind of like take me forward. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. That's, that's why it is. For me, it's more like I use my analytical skills when um, I do like create things because yeah. I don't know. I'm not going to remember all the things that Adobe can do. Right. But I know how to solve problems. Right, right. Yeah. So yeah. like I still using those skills. Yeah. 
I think they're actually kind of similar in that way because uh, like create like creation and yeah. creating things it takes a lot of analytical stuff like the behind the scenes of all your ideas you gotta actually do it and you have well. to look at it and see it from a different perspective yeah like, yeah, yeah how can I because somebody like because with the banana thing mm-hmm. people see a banana but that person see money right oh you're talking about that yeah. banana gallery yeah. taped, on the, <laughs> taped on the wall <laughs> yeah <laughs> I still see a banana, but yeah. yeah. So <laughs> somebody else see somebody. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like so some people see clouds, but like mm-hmm. some people see shapes out of clouds. Right, right. True, true. Yeah, and you know that's funny. Like, yeah, that's interesting because I I look at I think everybody's just different. Yeah. You know? Um, and sometimes I'll look at something and get an idea, uh, and somebody else might look at it and be like, you know, it's just whatever. So yeah. And I think that kind of feeds like. Probably more of the poetry that I write than, than film. Um, but yeah, it definitely feeds like my creative like thoughts in general. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. Does that like does that like feed so what like design, let's mm-hmm. say like um do you feel like when you're working on something that you can kinda like uh like bounce between like the creative part and the analytical part, but then like sort of lose the creative part in a way? That question don't make sense, but like, <laughs> you ever find yourself like getting lost in like the details yeah. of creating? Yeah. And then you just like, you want to be perfect, but like, you never get perfect. Right, right. That's that's one of my issues, man. Right? Like, like especially with film. Yeah. Honestly, nothing I ever made was good, in my opinion. Like, yeah, because like, when I make flyers, I yeah. hate all of them. I yeah. hate most of them. Yeah. And I'm just like, there's so many things I wanted to do, but I couldn't do. And I'm just like, I'm the same way. Like, <laughs> yo, I, like, my films, like, or whatever videos I ever made, I just, when I watch it, I see every flaw. Yeah, you see every mistake. And I'm, like, watching it, and I'm just, like, sweating as somebody else is watching. I'm like, yo, that's bad. I should have changed that. Right. It's a hate when people, you, you should be by writing or something um, like that. I just have to walk out because I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you just see every mistake. Um, but I think something I had to, like, I'm still trying to learn is, like, yeah. can't be perfect in everything. Um, you take the lesson, and you move on and apply it. But I definitely have to, like, middle school, we had to make, like, a map. Uh-huh. And I hated the map. I got yeah. 97 on it because I did everything I was supposed to do. Yeah. And, like, the teacher said it looked good. But yeah. I seen... But I seen it was seen more of, like, a mess. Right, right. It was, like, a mess of ideas. Yeah. Yeah. I think in a way that... It's, it's like a balance because that could feed, like, your, your drive. Yeah. And it could also hold you back. And I think it's, you got to find that middle ground, like, the in-between, you know? The one known filmmaker, Penny McKinney, he said, like, just getting it out is better than not getting not having anything. Yeah, for sure. That's been that's been my struggle. <laughs> yeah. Like I I hadn't released I hadn't even made a YouTube channel that I that like I guess I would call like my own besides like, you know, the Gmail yeah. too. Um I didn't make that until January of this year. Um and that's and I've been making videos basically since I was like eleven. Yeah. You know, so Definitely, you know, like the struggle, like putting stuff out for people to see. Um, and even now, I don't really market my stuff that much. You know, I keep everything really low key. But I feel like there's a point where I'm just gonna, like, you know, like just do the mass. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm hoping that I'll just have like content for days. I'm just like, yo, just throwing it out, like boom, boom. boom I boom, made this boom. seven years ago, but it's fire still. Like, <laughs> it's timeless. You know, it's timeless. It's yeah, a classic. Exactly. exactly. They gonna write papers on me. Yeah, I mean, that would be dope. That'd be dope. Somebody make a book about you, how about you? Um, not like an autobiography, but like the moves you made mm-hmm. and yeah, stuff like yeah. that. And they, and they, you know, when they make these movies or like books, they like look at the every little detail. Like, you know, he took this inspiration from his mom that one time he did this <laughs> one thing. I'm like, dang, I didn't even know I took that inspiration from my mom. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's more like a reflection. Like you start seeing things, you start yeah, noticing yeah. things like, oh, that's where I got it from. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The connection to yeah. Yeah, man. And then earlier you mentioned about your poetry. Right. I read some of it. It's not do a lot of like culture and things like that in your background. Yeah. Um yeah, poetry. Uh poetry it's hard to explain. I was I would think it's I think it's kinda like subtle. Mm-hmm. Like um I think it just most of the time it just comes out of me. It's yeah. it's actually easier for me to write a poem than to write I mean to than to make a film. Cause it just sort of just comes out and I just start rearranging the words. So, uh, but it could be about really about anything. Mm-hmm. I think maybe 
I'm just thinking, I, I think I know which poem you read that was about, like, culture. Yeah, um, food and stuff like that. Food, yes. And the spoon. And the spoon, yeah. yeah. So I think I, I had a friend tell me, like, oh, I could see your style through the poem that you wrote. Um, and I started to look, like, closer at my stuff. I'm like, oh, I kind of think, I kind of take, like, these mundane, like, like everyday things, and I kind of look at them a different way. Um, yeah. And I was subtly, obviously, I tried to, like, subtly put, like, meanings and stuff behind it so like, if you read it you would you would understand it but if you read it again maybe you'd understand a little bit more a little bit deeper um i don't know if that comes through the poems i don't know if that's how you feel about it but at least that's how i look at it when i write um but to be honest i don't really think that hard about it it sort of just comes out yeah and i think that's why uh i kind of enjoy the balance between poetry and film because um like film it actually is pretty like gruesome for me it's hard like i'm yeah. like it's like i think poetry just comes a lot easier like film i just i'm like cutting and i'm cutting i'm like moving and i'm like i'm like yo this is not working i'm like like like, <laughs> like basically like grinding my head on the yeah. table like yo uh but poetry is sort of like this thing like it's almost like there's no wrong answer you know for me that's like whatever you put i can make it better yeah. but it's like there's no, there's almost no wrong answer. It's just like this free creative expression. But with like film, it's, it's like I should cut that a little bit too, a little bit shorter, and I can see that, you know. And some people might be able to see that, but that poetry is just like the free, the freedom I like about it. So the poetry me is more like I can't get too deep because like mm-hmm. I'm very blunt and very mm-hmm. to to the point. Yeah. So like they have the double entendre, they have a double meaning. A lot of hard work for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's that's where, you know, people are different. Because um, when I first, I think, when I first wrote a poem, or right, the first, I guess, I call it my first poem. It's not really my first poem. I've written some stuff in the past that, yeah. I, that I think of probably failures. But, you know, <laughs> the first poem that I got published um, by Encounters Magazine at, at Baruch, um, when I wrote it, I... Um, I was like, you know, anybody could write this. That was my thought, like, you know. So I didn't think I was necessarily a poet from then. I'm like, you know, I, I wrote a poem. It was, some people liked it. Somebody liked it. Yeah. And and I started, like, everything I wrote, I'm like, you know, Zeke could have wrote this. Any random dude on the street could have wrote this. Um, but I think I had to realize that, you know, everybody has different strengths. And some people don't even like like writing anything out. Yeah, all. I hate writing. Exactly. So me, like, for this to just kind of, like, come out of me, it means a little bit. I should take it a little bit more seriously or I should like put a little bit more work into it. Um, you know, so yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like I'm on Sway in the morning, bro. <laughs> like, it's, you know, like if you go on Sway and you're yeah. a rapper, right? You got to rap. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I feel like I got to share a poem, bro. I feel like share a poem. Big. I feel like share a poem. Let's go. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> no, I, might, I might do it, man. I might do it. So um, like that one thing for me creating mm-hmm. is like I have trouble mm-hmm. trusting the audience mm-hmm. that they're gonna get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that because like with, with flyers, the hard part with words, like how many words I put, mm-hmm. how big should the words be? Yeah. Would they see it? Would they track? Would the eyes track? Yeah, you had the same problem. Yes, actually. Um, so that first poem one day that I wrote, yeah. it was extremely complicated. It was like. <laughs> It was so complex, bro. <laughs> and and I think after I wrote it and after it got published, I was reading it and I'm like, yo, I don't think anybody's gonna understand this. And then I'm like, yo, it's it's just too much, it's too deep. And and it's like it's and that was that was kinda tough. And I think after I actually adjusted my style a little bit, I'm like, I wanna make it more plain, like more clear to understand. Uh but still even then, like, you know, people are in my head yeah so um i think that's definitely simple a, to a you struggle yeah might be complicated to somebody else yeah yeah or like yeah. something complicated you simple to somebody else exactly like, exactly so i think it just comes to like putting it out there like like every artist like from the past they just put it out there not necessarily hoping someone would understand um but i guess that's expression and then i guess having that hope that that knowledge that somebody there's one person I would understand and gain meaning from it. So I think I think that's where I kind of 
I kind of reached like, you know, somebody's going to understand that. At least one person is going to understand. But at the very least, I know what it means. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah. And also just like writing, you could write it in a beautiful way. Yeah. Um, and people would appreciate it, even if they don't even understand what you're talking about. It's like it, it sounds thing. nice. Like yeah, with Spanish yeah. music, I don't know what's going on. Exactly. But it just sounds nice. So yeah, like, yeah. I'm going to go I'm gonna vibe with it. Exactly. I was about to go to music. Like, you could listen to music in a completely <laughs> different language and you bop in your head like, uh, uh. Like, <laughs> like yeah, you start singing along. Like, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, exactly. it sounds lit. So that kind of, that kind of, I took that as like a challenge, like, no matter what I'm writing, trying to write it in a beautiful way. Yeah. That if you, if you just read it, you're like, oh, that sounds nice. Or like, I feel like there's something here. I want to know what it means. The bottom makes no sense, but like, you know, it just sounds lit. Like, yeah, it just sounds yeah. fire. The flow is nice. The flow is nice. So, <laughs> you know, that's half of music right now. Like, bippity boppity boop, bippity boppity boop, bop. But it's still, you're like, what? Uh, uh, you Are you there? Oh. Yo, man. <laughs> but somebody, that flow was simple, but like, you didn't, the um, person criticized it didn't think of, didn't think of the flow. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, it's yeah. still, it's still the person who made the flow is yeah. still, yeah, uh, artists definitely, definitely. Yeah, and it's I think it's crazy how like art kind of like like speaks to each other. Like yeah, like that music. I'm I'm taking influence from music in that way, uh, and I'm taking influence from poetry and film, and it's just like all kind of like mixes and talks to each other. Yeah. Uh, so I think I relate to music in terms of like people understanding the work. Um, and I think I kind of grew out of like like. Nah, actually, I didn't grow out. Of that. <laughs> nah, it still happens. I'll be like, yo, what? Nobody understands. But yeah. Yeah, man. And do you ever feel like you had to top yourself after you create something? Like, the next one has to be better than this one? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you pulling out all the creative insecurities. <laughs> I had the same one. So I was like, yeah, when yeah. I made my first flyer for um, um, Lasso with the Salt Bay, uh-huh. then I made the second one, like, The Day of Death. Mm-hmm. Like, those two of my best was like, what's next? Yeah. He just like, yeah. I used all my ideas. Yeah, it's like a fear that your best is behind you. Yeah. Yeah, I have that I have that same same thing. Um Yeah, I have that same thing, but almost like whenever I complete the next thing, I'm like, yo, this is the best one. <laughs> Even though it's not perfect, it's this is the best one still. So yeah, I'll be I like, like this one, yeah. yeah, I like this one. It's I think there's always like even if I even if I think something previous is like better, there's always at least one quality. Yeah. Of the new poem, of the new film, I'm like, yo, I like how I did that. Um, or I, that that's something I need to do more or build on. Um, so yeah, I, I definitely know what you're talking about. Though, like, it does always feel like the best is behind you. Like, yeah. Yeah, man, that's, that's, that's tough to do. <laughs> yeah, I have my best. Like every every great idea I had was at this one point. Yeah, yeah. And you don't want to copy yourself, and yeah. you're like, that's your that's your right, only thing right. you can do. Yeah, right, right, true, true. Uh, but I don't know. For me, I feel like in a way, even if I feel like I'm copying, something always changes. Okay. So, like, there'll be times where I'm like, yo, I'm writing a similar poem to the past. Like, it's it's kind of similar. But then, I don't know, after a while of just working with it, it becomes a new a new thing. Um, but, yeah, and I've seen, like, we, they had this, like, studying art and stuff and paintings. A lot of these dudes is doing the same thing every time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell the difference. <laughs> Like, oh, all right, he put the square over here this time. <laughs> like, I'm like what? And so, you know, I think it's just just keep going, man. Like, for me, that's that's the message to myself. Like, just keep going, keep going. Um, even if you did the same thing 10 times, by the 11th time, you know, something's going to be different, you know? Because for me, with my flow, it's like, I like to do, like, a blurry background and have mm-hmm. the foreground. Mm-hmm. Have, like, something you're focusing on. Mm-hmm. You know, it's, like, the same technique. Yeah. Each image is different. Right. Right. And it'll give it to display a different message. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, the creative that here is Yeah. People think it's easy. It's hard. Yeah, I had to learn to respect musicians. Like I really yeah. I used to I used to be like a tough critic. I'm like, yo, this joint whack, this song <laughs> whack. But the fact that someone can complete a song is I think is an accomplishment. And like cause I like low key, I don't tell nobody this, but I, I did a track one time. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I had a friend. He was like, "Yo, I got a beat." I listened to it, and he's like, "Yo, hop on the track." I was trash. <laughs> Yo, I was so trash. Yo, I was really trash. <laughs> In the so, studio, you're like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he's like, you hear me like, what? That's me? Yo, nah, honestly, I knew I was trash as I was doing it. 
Cause I'm like, yo, my like, yo, this is so hard. I can't even, I can't even get on the beat, bro, at the right time. And I'm like, yo, I can't even say it with, with a good flow. So I learned to respect musicians. Yeah, yeah, like the like my voice. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> I, feel, I, I hear the, I hear the insecurities. Right, like so I learned to respect musicians. Um, I don't even know where I was going with that. But I, I learned to respect. Yeah. Uh, like musicians in that way, um, and I know that that's not my thing <laughs> for sure. Uh, but yeah, like just respecting art in general, I kind of I, I learned to respect it. Like I look at stuff, I'm like, even if I don't get it, even if I think it's ugly, somebody made that. Except the banana thing, <laughs> I, I, I'm not vibing with that. Duct tape, I'm not vibing with that. Because <laughs> I used to never, I never used to understand fine art or like the um the elitist of it. Mm-hmm. It was just like that's the only part of art I didn't like. Like the creating, mm-hmm. it was like abstract art because I never had to draw something perfect. Right, I could just create it. Right, and it'd be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, kind of like poetry. Yeah, yeah, you just create it. And it's it's nice. Yeah, but I, I don't know how they choose which ones sell for millions of dollars right. and which ones is not worth anything. <laughs> I don't understand that. Because graffiti, graffiti art was beautiful with the colors and the vibrantness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will like if I duct tape the apple to some cardboard and I was like yo this is art somebody gonna throw it in the garbage but this guy did it for a banana in the it's art like gallery times. and it's selling like I, that part I don't understand uh-huh. or like Banksy Banksy with his art his own message art and then he destroyed the painting he destroyed it after he sold it really? yeah like it was a shredder oh it was like a it's like a message? yeah to, oh. cause nobody knows what he looks like Oh, maybe I should have done that. <laughs> Anonymous artist. <laughs> I should have done that. It's about the art. That's his art um for seek for seek mm-hmm. summer experience. They use um his um one of his um I guess painting. I I'm trying to figure it out. Like painting or something like that. Mm-hmm. As like let's see what's the meaning of it. Mm-hmm. Got you. And it's like black and white with a little color in it. Each yeah. one of them. Yeah. Can you imagine that, bro? Like having people study your work? That's crazy. Or just like study you, just like I'm not that important. Yeah, it's, I'm like, yeah, I'm like. I'm, I'm just a regular guy. Yeah, I'm a regular dude. Like wearing no name brand sweaters. <laughs> 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 yeah, but I mean, I would like to be dead if they were doing that. Talk. Nah, I think I won't be alive just to see a lot. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'd be cool if you could talk about it, like discuss it with, yeah. with people. That's fire. I think I think that's it. That's when, the it. Po- when the podcast blows up, yeah, like talk about discuss, it. yeah, that's dope. Like, why did you use? Why did you play at the angle this way? Yeah, yeah. And your mind because it looked nice, right, but in someone right. else's mind, it's like yo, there's a meaning. Like you yeah, want to get, yeah, yeah. you want to get the color blue here, yeah. and then you want that there. What What do you think about that? Like, you know what? like people are interpreting your creation different than how you intended it. I think that's just life because we all have different experiences. Because. Mm-hmm. My truth, I, I used to think that my truth was like the truth of everybody because mm-hmm. like, we had like that they are the accepted facts that it's just facts, mm-hmm. and then like the way you see things, it's not how everybody else see things, right? Right, and then, then, then there's a, a learning moment because then you can see how then you can see like, oh, that's a new perspective, right. and then that goes into your next piece, right? So it's a, a part of your evolution, all right? Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. Because that, that happens a lot, actually. Like, I feel like it happens for everyone. Yeah. Um, but, like, with like my poetry, sometimes people think, like, oh, so this is what it means. He just, like... I'm, like, close. <laughs> but not really. Or sometimes somebody will point to, like, it was just the most basic thing in my head. And somebody yeah. be like, yo, this is, like, this is mad deep. And I'm, like... Word. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to write that down. I did that. <laughs> what you say I did again? I was going to take notes for yeah. future reference. Yeah. But, you know, I actually do that to myself, too. Like, sometimes, that's it. Sometimes it just comes out the poetry. Yeah. Sometimes I just write it. And then I come back to it. One day I'm like, yo. Man, who did this? Who wrote that? <laughs> yo, that's mad deep. Like, like, yo, you did that? Nah, you didn't do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, so was just like, was that you? <laughs> right. Was it me? <laughs> Yeah, I'll be having conversations in my head like, yo, so you said this and that. And I'm like, oh. Ooh, where this come from? I ain't even, yo, it just came out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have a um, Jordan Peel with um, Get Out with the um, girl uh-huh. drinking the um, drinking the milk and the cereal and, separately. Yeah, what, what did that mean? I it didn't have a meaning. 
to him it didn't have a meaning. Uh huh. But other people was like she separated the white and the color separately from each other. She did. Yeah. She did. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yo, because you know, I was thinking, like, what does that mean? Yeah, like, that's funny. He didn't actually have a meaning for that, yeah, because he said, I uh, go to classes and people talk about it, and he mm-hmm. was just like, was they, they're putting out things that he didn't notice. He just like, right, right, yeah, I did that, yeah, wow. But you know, this actually that's a slippery slope because you know, like in our in our school system, whatever, we be studying people's work, and I'm like. Yeah, we're going too deep. I definitely, I don't think, I don't think she meant that. I don't think she was alluding to World War II. Like, like yo, like, yo, yo, they, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, the memes be like, deep. you lose how the memes be like, the teacher be like, no, the, the artist be like, um, what was the, the sky was blue. The teacher be like, what do you mean with the sky was blue? I mean, the sky was blue. <laughs> right? Like, it was blue. Like, y'all pulling up stuff that, like this is a is a slippery slope. Man. Sometimes you go too far. <laughs> yeah, they're saying right people are like I don't care. Like Shakespeare, I know he's nice. He yeah, had, like episode we write right about, but like, um, right. Imagine he was just he was just being basic. Like he saw it happen, he wrote it down. Like <laughs> you're like, nah, we have a whole class on him. <laughs> right. That's crazy, man. Man, we get that one day, like, just make my whole class, the Z class. Yeah, yeah. Just tell you all my work. That's crazy. Dang, bro. You, you thinking big, man. That's... <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep writing, man. My collection not long enough, man. I got to keep making films, too. It's not long enough. <laughs> I just had to press that just got to I can't forget my questions. That's cool, man. You know I I gotta I gotta say a poem or else it's so big, bro. <laughs> or else it's yeah. like, what's, hey, this like, what's this poem like? What poetry look like? Because my poetry isn't really anywhere. Like a couple of um, I had a few poems published in a magazine, but that's most of them are just print only, uh, and I haven't posted on Instagram um, or any social media. I'm trying to figure out like what medium is the best um, <laughs> to like share poetry. Um, and I'm sort of just in a stage where I just want to keep writing before I'm like trying to release, you know. Um, I feel like one day I'm going to feel it and it's just going to be like, yeah, it's time. I mean, hopefully it comes. <laughs> you wake up with a yo, It's about that time. It's about that time. Yeah, yeah. But I think I'm still in a, in a phase where I need to like, you know, just keep writing. Um, I think I'll know when to share like a lot. Um, but uh, let's see. It would come like double meetings. Do you think sometimes people have it? Like mm-hmm. they intentionally do it, or like a lot of times it just it just happens that they probably have like these two ideas at the same time, mm-hmm. and that's the way that the brain was like, yes, right. Um, with music, I think people do it on uh, most yeah. of the time on purpose. Most on purpose, yeah. Purpose. yeah. Uh, and I think with poetry. Actually, now let me go backwards. Just to like talking, something you ever say something and it's like, well, you know, I, this is kind of common in like like yeah. culture. You, somebody got to say pause after something you said, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> like you didn't mean it that way. You didn't mean it that way, but it had two meanings. Yeah. So I think we do it. We do it by accident um, a lot. But in a in a in a time like when you're like crafting something and mm-hmm. you're like looking over it a lot, um, I think most of the time it's intentional. Um, but like for me, sometimes I'll write something. And I didn't realize it had a double meaning. But by the time I, like, released it, I, I understood it had a double yeah. meaning because I, I, I reviewed it. Um, but I think it's sometimes, like, intentional um, and sometimes on purpose. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I if I write a lot in double entendres. Um, I think I do. Actually, not, not all the time. Not all the time. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, that was all double entendre. Which one? Get Out. It's just all that. Uh, oh, the, yeah? the whole movie is double entendre. Yeah, that's actually one of my favorite movies. I left that one out. Um, it is, yeah. It Cause is. Because, like, when they, when they, um, well, spoiler for all, everything in this whole podcast. Yeah, it's too old. If you, if you ain't listen to it by, if you ain't watch it by now, like, if you ain't watch it by now, yeah. <laughs> but, like, when the beginning, when she, um, when the cop trying to get his ID, I mm-hmm. uh, see, I got this from a YouTube video. I don't know which one. I think it was, um, um, similar, 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 similar wins. So YouTube channel similar wins, mm-hmm. and he was pointing out how the host pointed out how um in the beginning when the um girlfriend was trying to stop the cop for getting the ID, mm-hmm. that's on the surface is the like, stop like police brutality, mm-hmm. but on the other meaning is to show that um she's trying to keep no paper trail mm-hmm. that nobody knew that he went down there. Right, right. 
so that nobody knew. So when he disappears, right. nobody knows. Right, right. True. I ain't even noticed that. Yeah. Oh, Jordan Peele was doing some stuff. <laughs> he was doing some good stuff. Yeah. I'm not even thinking. Yeah, he was thinking. He was thinking. Um, we got the room till four thirty. Fourteen. <laughs> I know you got to pack up and stuff. All right. So whenever you actually, let me let me share a poem. Share a poem so I'm not fake. Do I need? I'm not fake. Oh, you fake deep party? <laughs> oh, you fake rappers! <laughs> <laughs> He ain't got no bars out here. <laughs> I don't know which one to, which one to share though. Uh, all right, so I shared a human gift. It's up to you. You're the artist. All right, it's it's hard to say because I actually do like a lot of my poems equally. Um, but we gonna share this one. <clears throat> By the way, a lot of people when I say poetry, they assume spoken word. I'm I'm not really a spoken word artist. Um. More of like a page, like like written poetry, page poetry, but so uh, no freestyle. Okay, cool. Nah, no, no freestyle and no. <laughs> no they be like doing they're a beat. They're making a beat on their chest. Like. <laughs> All right, so it's called the human gift. Mm-hmm. Stuck in a never-ending loop of self-imposed despair, who can save me from me? Shameful nights are killing me softly. The uphill stride seems infinite. I swear I keep seeing the same soil. I swear I keep sinking in the same quicksand. Eyes tilt upward, yet the crest creeps away. Arms stretch forward, yet they grasp air. Legs step right and left, yet I'm walking in my own footsteps. It's a cycle. I'm walking in my own footsteps. It's a cycle. I'm walking in my own footsteps. It's a come and behold the human gift. Stuck in a never-ending loop of self-imposed despair, who can save me from me? Please save me from me. Yo, guy, your audience, save him. Better <laughs> save him. <laughs> you hear the bars, hear the poetry. <laughs> yeah, template paper on what he just meant. All right. I mean, yeah, I'd like to dis- discuss that. You know, if anybody listen to it, you know, find me on Instagram or something. Simon, what's your Instagram? Um, instead of us. Instead oh, of us. Sorry, that's my YouTube channel. That's a YouTube channel. Instead of us. Instead yeah, of us. instead of us. Uh, my Instagram is instead of Isaac. Instead of Isaac. And Isaac is spelled I S A A C. One S two A's. Nice. Uh, I'm new to the Instagram thing. <laughs> I'm new to all this social media stuff. I mixed it all up. <laughs> like YouTube, Facebook, yeah, Pinterest, you know, like my what? TikTok is a. Uh, oh, I don't have one of those. You know? <laughs> Well, since the time has come to close, I'd like to um, transition to the last segment. Mm-hmm. So I'd like then you to name your origin story. Oh, snap. Call me off guard. <laughs> name my origin story. Um, I am going to take a cop out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my, um, my Instagram handle. Uh, <laughs> instead of instead, Isaac. Instead of Isaac. Um, yeah, that's a nah. Actually, nah. It's too vague. Uh, <laughs> it's not. It's not vague. It's it's hard to understand if you just read it. Let me see. Um, dang, bro, that's a tough question. <laughs> name it. Name the origin story. You have Iron Man. You have Captain America: The First Avenger. Right, right. Um, you have Hulk. You have Incredibles. So I'm trying to choose like a, a superhero name. Is that what I'm trying I mean, to choose? I mean, that's the ones I think of. <laughs> All right. What, what's the name of your origin story? Maybe your that was. Origin story? Yeah, let me, let me think. Uh, I'll put you on the spot now. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, today, I might, it might be um, adaptable. Adaptable. I like what you said today. Cause, yeah. yeah, you know, tomorrow might be a different name. All right. So today, I would say Grace. 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 Yeah, the sto- Grace, the story of Isaac. Nice. You know, so it makes more sense. <laughs> that brings another episode of Let's Get a Podcast to a close. Again, you can follow Isaac at his Instagram at Instead of Isaac. And for next week, I have my friend Jaime coming in to discuss the current state of technology and some more anime talk. Hope we continue to have a nice day and hope to see you there. <laughs>